Happening now in Dale County, the jury now has the case, the murder trial of Coley McCraney. He's accused of killing Dothan teenagers J.B. Beasley and Tracy Hall at an Ozark back in 1999. Closing arguments just wrapped up and deliberations are now getting underway. Let's head to WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts joining us live. You've been there on the phone, Sally. You've been there the entire time for the trial. How did those final arguments go? How did the state and defense rest? Well, Bethany, the jury now has to decide which version of events it believes the prosecution or the defendant. The prosecution says Coley McCraney's story just does not add up. They say it does not make sense. And they try to tear apart his testimony. McCraney testified that he met J.B. Beasley about a month before the murders, and the two agreed to meet up July 31st, 1999. That was the last night the two girls were seen alive. He says he offered to show them a shortcut to 231. Then they would have to bring him back. The state says that just does not make sense, especially when they already received directions from a mother and daughter who also testified in this case. McCraney's attorneys also said that the two, he and J.D. Beasley, had consensual sex in the back of his truck. Attorney General C. Marshall, in his closing, told the jury J.B. had mud stains inside her pants, and that shows she did not have sex in the bed of a truck, but she was raped on the ground by someone she did not know. That was a quote from Attorney General Steve Marshall. The defense also pointed out that the state has no confession, murder weapon, or witness, only DNA. Marshall said the defense was trying to use deception to confuse the jury, and there are no witnesses because Coley McCraney murdered them and admitted he was the last person to see them alive. Now it's up to the jury to decide who they believe. Bethany? Okay, Sally, and of course, we'll get the very latest from you this afternoon at 430.